All right, everyone, welcome back. Earlier this week, singer Celine Dion announced she was diagnosed with something called stiff person syndrome and canceled her upcoming dates and concerts. And today we welcome Dr. Andrew McKeon, who is a neurologist at Mayo Clinic and specializes in autoimmune disorders. Thank you so much for joining us today to talk about this very important topic, doctor. Thank you. Thank you very much. So first off, right out of the gate, talk to us about what exactly are autoimmune diseases? Some people may not know. Sure. Well, everyone has an immune system, and that is made up of cells and other molecules in our bloodstream that help us fight off infection and fight off cancer. Uh, but sometimes the immune system can be quite self-reactive and can attack one or other organs in our bodies. Uh, an example would be, say, rheumatoid arthritis, where the immune system attacks the joints. Now, let's talk about stiff person syndrome. Exactly what is it and who does it affect? So stiff person syndrome is an autoimmune disease where the nervous system is attacked. And principally, it attacks the spinal cord and the part of the brain just above it called the brainstem. And the pathways that regulate excitation and inhibition. So essentially, patients end up with too much excitation in their nervous system causing stiffness and spasms. And this can fluctuate. It can come on quite suddenly. It can be triggered by loud noises. And when the whole body stiffens up, uh, this can result in injurious falls. It affects both men and women. It can affect uh, patients across the lifespan, but most commonly affects women and uh, usually has its onset in the 40s or 50s. Now, I do know, of course, that Celine Dion came out and says that she was uh, diagnosed with this, and she actually did speak out about it on her social media, and we do have a clip of that we want to show our viewers. Unfortunately, these spasms affect every aspect of my daily life, sometimes causing difficulties when I walk and not allowing me to use my vocal cords to sing the way I'm used to. Wow, and you heard her right there talking about how this affects her personally. Are there any other ways that people can be affected by this? And can you share that with us, doctor? Yes, sure. I mean, this, as you can hear there, this can be a very severe disease and can really affect people quite badly. Um, so what it can do is it can affect the, the low back and the legs, causing spasms and stiffness. Uh, it can have sometimes affect other parts of the body, such as the arms, and sometimes even the respiratory muscles, so the chest wall muscles could contract and spasm and cause breathing difficulties. Really hard to think about. Now, if someone thinks they may have an autoimmune condition, exactly what should they do from their doctor? Well, autoimmune conditions can affect any organ in the body or any part of the body. So um, uh, as, as a first pass, I think uh, seeing one's primary care doctor will be appropriate. But um, what can happen then is the, the doctor can look and see, okay, what, what, what type of autoimmune condition is this? If there's suspicion for stiff person syndrome, uh, the, the, the team could consider a referral to Mayo Clinic. Uh, for evaluation, there's a specialty clinic there where, uh, where patients with stiff person are evaluated. Very good information. Thank you so much, Doctor. We really appreciate your time and have a great Saturday. Thank you very much.